What's going on everybody? This is Brendan with New Way Media back again for another video today. Today in this video we're going to be talking all about the Chadsford Winery lifestyle branding video that we did last year back in 2019. Now this video is episode one in a new series we'll be doing where we're basically uh, making a video version of some of the blog posts that we have on our website. So we do a lot of blog posts on our website, basically write-ups explaining uh, a lot of the productions that we're on, showing some behind the scenes images, things like that. And we also do blog posts on tons of other topics. So we'll be selecting those um, and doing video versions of those as well, just to offer them in a slightly different format for people who prefer just watching videos over uh, reading detailed explanations uh, on our website. But if you do wanna check out the blog post we have for the Chatsford Winery commercial, links will be in the description below, as well as just a link to our blog on our website in general, if you wanna check out any of the other dozen other blogs that we have up right now. Now, I chose this for episode one of this series because I think this commercial really represents um, what New Way Media specializes in, which is sort of the branded lifestyle video genre. Basically, 100% of the content that we shoot is always for uh, social media, whether that be YouTube or Instagram or Facebook, um, or even TikTok nowadays, we're shooting videos for that platform as well. So this sort of represents the crux of what we do, what we really enjoy doing. So anyway, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you learn something about our process, about how we shoot our videos, and for all you filmmakers out there, uh, if you learn something from us, I think that would be really cool. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoy. So as I said, last year we were tasked with making a 30 second to 60 second lifestyle commercial for Chadsford Winery, featuring many of their services and amenities, as many as possible really. Um, what they wanted from us was a fun, lively video that would make their winery feel more like a craft brewery. And so their brand is all about having a diverse portfolio of approachable food-friendly wines and they wanted that to be reflected clearly in the video. Now, the goal, as I said, was to make this video 30 seconds long, which is, as you can imagine, that's a lot to pack into one 30 second video. If you think about it in terms of the number of shots, if you have 15 shots that are each two seconds long, that fills out your 30 second time limit. So you only really have 15 shots to um, show that entire story to get that entire message across. So it's definitely a challenge, and this is sort of a challenge that you see um, no matter what type of video you're making for social media platforms. Now we also did a 60 second version, which I think uh, reflects all of the footage that we shot better because it, it shows basically everything we shot. So we started off in a pre-production meeting with the Chadsford Winery people, and the first thing we did was just list out all the amenities that Chadsford Winery has. And this includes their show floor, the wine tastings they have, uh, they have private parties, picnics, and even an on-site gelato truck that they had for the spring season. They also had social events and like, have live music and all sorts of stuff like that. So from there, we could create a master shot list. Our total shot list, I think, was about 27 shots. And then you can take that 27 shots and split those up into an hour-by-hour -hour schedule for your entire shoot day. So once we had a schedule put together, we knew exactly what shots we needed. Then we put together a cast of actors and models and some members of the wine club that Chadsford Winery has for on-camera talent. For the actual shoot, we had a low budget for this, so we knew we had to keep the crew small. So I myself acted as the director and the cinematographer since I was sort of uh, on the project from the very beginning working with Chadsford Winery on what they wanted. Um, Chris was my assistant camera operator, and we also had our buddy Aiden helping us as a production assistant. He also helped us out with a lot of the lighting and rigging and stuff. The camera package was our Red Scarlet W5K cinema camera with Cook S4 lenses. Now these are the same lenses that were used to shoot Game of Thrones among a lot of other Hollywood films. So these are really, really gorgeous, high quality lenses. And whenever we get the chance to use really nice cinema PL mount lenses for our cinema camera, we always try to do that. So our lighting package for this shoot was also pretty simple. We had two LED panels um, that were newer brand. So it's not like we were using RE Sky panels or anything. Newer is a, is a pretty cheap brand for filmmaking gear, but we really, really like these LED panels for how cost effective they are. Um, they are battery powered, so we can use the same batteries on these lights as we use on our camera itself. Um, so they can be very, very mobile. And these are daylight balanced 900 LED panels. 
The other thing is since they're only daylight LEDs, they're not bicolor LEDs, you're actually getting the full power, the full output of the light. Whereas if they were bicolor LEDs, in other words, every other LED being daylight and every other LED being tungsten, that means you'd have a, basically a dimmer switch on the back which would allow you to dim from a tungsten color to a daylight color and it basically means you're only using half of the LEDs at any given time. So even if you would have a 900 LED bank, it's really only acting like a 450 LED bank. So that's why we prefer using just a pure daylight balanced uh, LED unit. The other lights we were using for this shoot were two Quasar Science LED tubes. These are only one foot LED tubes. They're really great for accent lights, for hanging on walls just out of frame. Uh, and we also had a Kinoflow 4 foot 4 bank fluorescent light. This is also a daylight balanced light. We also used a portable golden reflector, uh, one of these 5-in-1 reflectors you can get on Amazon. They're like 15 bucks, where you have a gold side, a silver side, a white side, a black side, and also a silk in the middle for diffusion. We used one of those on a lot of these shots, a lot of the outdoor scenes to enhance the magic hour look. This is a trick we use in a lot of our lifestyle videos to give it that magic hour look or to extend magic hour a little bit longer. So luckily we didn't have to worry about recording sound for this production at all because it was decided very early on that this video would just be silent and it would just have a music track in the background to set the tone. So that allowed us to keep the crew very small to just three people and all we had to worry about was just the camera and the lights. So our schedule for this shoot, the shoot day lasted from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So it was actually just like a normal eight hour day. And we filmed with a total of 27 shots, as I said earlier. We had multiple takes for each shot. And so we averaged out a rate of about three shots per hour or one new shot, new setup every 20 minutes. So the final 30 second video includes 19 of the 27 shots that we filmed. And that means that we had plenty of options in post to pick the absolute best material with enough extra content to make multiple variations of the video so that Chatsford Winery could have as much value and as much content as possible. And the look of the video is very unique. And that comes from a lot of the tiny creative cinematography choices that I made throughout the production. Um, for one, the choice to shoot on our really nice red camera, which has a lot of high resolution and a lot of dynamic range, which makes a huge difference. And we also chose to rent these very nice cinema lenses that I talked about earlier, the Cook S4s. These lenses are really sharp and they have a warmness and a dimensionality to their look that's really beautiful and unique to themselves. Um, in the industry, we call it the Cook look because of how uh, sought after and how unique and special it is. When I talk about dimensionality, these Cook lenses have a certain level of distortion to them, which tends to sort of push away the background a little more and it makes the foreground feel a little closer, the background feel a little further away. So it gives it a little bit more of a three dimensionality to it that some other lenses don't really have. We also used a special filter in front of the lens called a quarter black pro mist filter, which creates a subtle glowing effect, blooming the highlights and making the image feel a little bit more organic and a little bit almost dreamlike, but not quite that intense. And in post-production, the footage was color graded using one of our favorite orange and teal LUT packs from Tropic Color. And so these are just a few examples of the extra value that we brought to the commercial and the attention to detail and the artistry on this production that we tried to implement in order to bring it to that next level. So we know it was a really extremely useful marketing tool for Chatsford Winery moving forward. Like I said, they were able to put this on YouTube ads and get the word out there and bring more people into their shop. So really exciting and we were really, really happy to be a part of it. These are some of our favorite types of videos to shoot because we can get really cinematic with it we can make something that's entertaining that people want to watch and not just click through immediately. So that basically sums up the entire Chadsford Winery video that we did in 2019. We're really happy with this final product and we are really excited to be doing uh, more types of videos like this for clients in the future. As of right now, New Way Media is pretty much in quarantine because of this whole COVID thing. So um, we're not doing any new projects now, so a lot of content is gonna be about stuff we've done in the past. So moving forward, you can also expect a lot of podcast episodes coming out hopefully very soon and a lot of other really fun content. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, let us know in the comments or giving us a like. Be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more videos that we upload and yeah. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one.